Yes. First for the University of Chicago, a junior from Greenwich, Connecticut, number zero, Rachel Keefe. A sophomore from Massapequa Park, New York, number two, Kelly Konstanakis. A freshman from Amityville, New York, number six, Blair Davi. A junior from McLean, Virginia, number seven, Evelina Swigart. A sophomore from Keller, Texas, number 12, Grace Harrell. A senior from Setauket, New York, number 15, Lulu Hardy. A sophomore from Syosset, New York, number 18, Jill Hui. A freshman from Phoenix, Maryland, number 22, Wynn Bogan. A freshman from Hookset, New Hampshire, number 22, Tegan Casey. A junior from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, number 30, Skylar Leinart. A junior from Great Falls, Virginia, number 32, Jane Chen. And a junior from Garden City, New York, number 34, Olivia Escoffrey. Head coach for the University of Chicago is Kate Robinson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the starting lineup for your Hope College, Flying Dutch. A sophomore from Rochester, number one, Sydney LaPrairie. A freshman from Midland, number two, Emma Dodick. A junior from Granger, Indiana, number three, Mia Skibbins. A senior from Howell, number five, Elena Salazar. A sophomore from Fishers, Indiana, number seven, Caroline Kernut. A junior from Granger, Indiana, number nine, Julie Kirkpatrick. A senior from Alto, number 21, Molly Fredrickson. A sophomore from Lansing, number 23, Callie Randall. A sophomore from Granger, Indiana, number 24, Ruby Huerman. A sophomore from Spring Lake, number 25, Carly Llewellyn. A senior from Rockford, number 29, Maddie Yakes. And a sophomore from Grand Rapids, number 32, Julia Brown. Head coach for the Flying Dutch is Keegan Pontius. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise. Gentlemen, if you would, please remove your caps. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. a good Saturday.
A pleasant good Saturday afternoon to you. We are at Van Andel Soccer Stadium on the campus of Hope College as the Flying Dutch of Hope get ready to take on the University of Chicago Maroons in a non-conference contest. My name is Greg Chandler. I'll be calling the action for you this afternoon. Hope brings a 4-3 and three record into today's contest. They've won their last two, defeating DePaul University last Saturday here at Van Andel Soccer Stadium 20-14. to 14. And then on Wednesday, they went on the road to the Chicago area and came back home with a 17-9 victory over the Spartans of Aurora University of Illinois. The Maroons of the University of Chicago are three and four. They're trying to snap a two-game losing skid. They lost their last contest on Monday to Catholic University of America, 11 to 10. Uh, they have played a rough, uh, tough schedule so far. They have a win over a nationally ranked team, beating Denison University earlier this season. The Flying Dutch under the direction of head coach Keegan Pontius in her fifth season. They're in the white jerseys this afternoon with navy blue. Numbers outlined in orange, the Maroons. Well, they're wearing the Maroon jerseys today with white letters and numbers. Maddie Yakes is in goal for the Flying Dutch, starting her eighth consecutive game this season in net for Hope, while Rachel Keefe is, in, uh, is mining the nets for the Maroons. Here's the opening draw control. Caroline Kernut, the uh, sophomore from Fishers, Indiana, number seven, taking it for the Flying Dutch against Jill Huey of Chicago. And we are underway. And we get a collision right off the bat. And here come the Flying Dutch working right to left. Hope with it in behind the Chicago net. Molly Fredrickson on the outside with it. Over to Sydney LaPrairie. Now on the right side is Julia Brown. He, she had a big game on Wednesday against Aurora with six points. In behind the goal is Julie Kirkpatrick. Hope trying to work it out front. Hope on the season averaging 16 goals a contest. Molly Fredrickson works her way inside shot and it's deflected out the back. And Hope's going to keep possession. The Flying Dutch have it in back of the Chicago goal. That's Julie Kirkpatrick with it. Now down to LaPrairie. And LaPrairie gets knocked down. And here come the Maroons the other way. Jill Huey on the move. Huey up ahead to Olivia Escoffrey. And we're going to get a hope foul on Caroline Kernut. And I think this is going to give Chicago a fixed, fi uh, fixed position opportunity or free position opportunity. Escoffrey, the junior from Garden City, New York. And the Maroons score first. as Jill Huey, the sophomore, with the goal. They're measuring the stick, but that goal, the goal should stand. So the Maroons strike first in this game. Hooey from Escoffrey at 122 to start this contest, and the Maroons have an early one to nothing lead. The Maroons on the season, they have had some big scoring games. They had 26 goals in a game against Lake Forest and 26 goals also in a win against Wisconsin River Falls. Hope with it as they go right to left. Elena Salazar has it. Salazar to Kirkpatrick. Now back outside to Callie Randall. Over to LaPrairie. Now Fredrickson has it as they work it around the perimeter. 
Julia Brown now. Julia tries to work her way out front. Sam runs into a couple of Chicago defenders. Now on the move is Randall. And the pass gets away from Kerrigan Brown out of bounds, a turnover for the Flying Dutch. Here come the Maroons trying to clear the zone. With it on the outside is Grace Harrell. And Harrell up ahead to Winbogen, who is the leading scorer, on, one of the leading scorers on this team. Bogan shot, save made by Yanks. Good save by Maddie. And Hope's gonna, gonna get the possession. So Maddie Yanks on the season with a save percentage of 42%, but this time the Maroons are able to score. And Lulu Hardy, who is the leading scorer on this team, goes top shelf over Yanks. And that's gonna make it a two nothing Chicago lead. Chicago with the assist, number 32, Jane Chen. And scoring goal number two, number 15, Lulu Hardy. Lulu Hardy with the goal off the assist from Jane Chen, giving Chicago a two to nothing lead over the Flying Dutch. 12.03 remaining first quarter. And we get a whistle on the draw control and Hope's gonna, gonna have it. Randall up ahead to Salazar. Salazar, the second leading scorer for the Flying Dutch this season behind Julia Brown. Julie Kirkpatrick now with it in behind the Chicago goal. Kirkpatrick tries to work her way out front. Feeds Salazar. Elena can't pull the trigger on the shot. Now on the outside with it, Stella Bottom. Kirkpatrick now with it in behind the Maroons net. Kirkpatrick to bottom. Bottom feeds Julia Brown and Julia Brown finds the goal. So the Flying Dutch get on the board on a goal by Julia Brown. That's her 25th of the season, leading the Flying Dutch in that category. That cuts the Chicago lead to two to one. 11 14 remaining here in the first quarter. A drizzly afternoon here in Holland. The lights are on at Van Andel Soccer Stadium. Temperature in the low 40s. The Maroons control the draw, but the ball knocked loose and Caroline Kernut gets the ground ball for the Flying Dutch. Hope working right to left into the Chicago end. Salazar has it in behind the Maroons net. Outside to Fredrickson. Now to bottom. Bottom to Callie Randall. Randall works her way toward the net, has it knocked loose, and the ground ball is scooped up by Jill Huey. Huey up ahead. To Jane Chen, number 32. Chen to Escoffi. Escoffi shot goes over the top of the net and out the back. And the Maroons are going to keep possession. They, Maroons can get it up and down in a hurry and they score.
Skyler Leinhart with the goal number 30 for the Maroons, and it's back to a two-goal lead for Chicago. Chicago scoring goal number three. Number 30, Skyler Leinhart. Three to one. The University of Chicago with the lead over Hope. Three seconds shy of the five minute mark here in this first quarter. Second all time meeting between Hope and Chicago. The Maroons won the first meeting two years ago, 19 to six. And we get a whistle off the draw control and, and Hope's going to get it. Callie Randall lost the ball. And we're going to get a hope foul as uh, as Skyler Liner got knocked to the knocked to the turf by Stella Bottom. And now the officials are going to have a little conference here. I'm not quite sure what this is about. Nine forty six remaining, first quarter, three to one, Chicago. The Maroons out of the University Athletic Association. They're in the same league with the likes of Washington University, St. Louis, uh, Case Western Reserve, New York University, Brandeis, Carnegie Mellon, and Emory. And I think they're going to... Stella Bottom's going to be sent off for... Uh, Hope's going to go a, a, a person down off of that foul. The Maroons have the possession. This is Skylar Leinhardt who just scored a moment ago. And now we get another foul. Escoffi inside. Sends it across to, to Jill Huey. And Jill Huey just buries it behind the aches for her second goal of this period. It's now four to one in favor of Chicago. Now for the second time in this period, it was Olivia Scoffrey setting up Jill Huey with a goal. And it's a four to one lead for the Maroons. 9.22 left here in the first quarter. The Flying Dutch control the draw. Here comes Salazar with it for the Flying Dutch, number five. Now Julie Kirkpatrick with it, number nine. Outside to Molly Fredrickson to Sydney LaPrairie. Now Callie Randall has it, number 23. Randall working to her left. La Prairie has it now. Sydney trying to work her way inside. Randall sends it across to Fredrickson. Down to 30 seconds on the shot clock. 
Hope having a tough time getting in, getting inside against the Chicago defense. And now we're going to get a foul, a turnover. Here come the Maroons. This is Jill Hu, who already has two goals so far in this one. Hui over to Alexis Veldhaus and a shot. And another goal for the Maroons. Alexis Feldhaus, a sophomore from Cincinnati with the goal. Assisted by Jill Huey. Nets now 5-1 to one in favor of Chicago. Maroons have had seven shots on goal so far and have five goals on those seven shots. Hope with just two shots on goal so far in the early going. So the Maroons have definitely dominated the early stages of this contest. Here come the Maroons. With it now is Camille Kawana, senior from out of Arlington, Virginia. There's a shot, a save made by Batty Yakes. And Hope now trying to trying to clear the clear it out of there. This is Carly Llewellyn, number 25. And Llewellyn has the ball knocked loose, and we're going to get a foul on Chicago. And it looks like Hope is going to have a. A man up advantage. Julia Brown up ahead to Salazar. Down to Alyssa Segura, number 13, to Kirkpatrick. Oh, trying to stem this uh, Chicago run. Salazar out in front. Her shot goes wide and out the back. And Hope will retain possession in behind the Maroons' net. Stella Bottom with it, number 12. Over to La Prairie. Now Molly Fredrickson feeds, tries to get it to Julia Brown. Salazar shot save out front. I think that was blocked by one of the Maroon defenders and coming the other way is Grace Harrell for the Maroons, number 12. Harrell leaves it back outside for Tegan Casey, number 22. Casey looking for someone, someone to pass off to. Leaves it for Kuana. 5.45 to go first quarter, 5-1 to one Maroons. And ooh. Alexis Veldhaus took a shot. And I think we're going to get a penalty on Hope. Sydney LaPrairie is is being sent off, and uh, Veldhaus walking off under her own power, but she took quite a shot there. And coming in to replace her is Elizabeth Fitzgerald, a freshman from Hillsboro, California. And we're going to get a free position opportunity for the Maroons.
Fitzgerald charges toward the goal and she scores. Well, that didn't take long. Elizabeth Fitzgerald off the uh, free position. And it's now a six to one lead for the, Chicago, for the University of Chicago. Number 27, Elizabeth Fitzgerald. 5.33 remaining in the first quarter, and what a start for the, for the Maroons of the University of Chicago here. Hope controls the draw. Callie Randall. And Hope turns it over. Back comes Chicago with it. This is Kawana, number 23. Ball knocked loose. Still loose right around midfield and, and the ground ball scooped up by Kawana. Now Olivia Escoffrey, and Escoffrey is knocked down and we're going to get a hope, another penalty on Hope. And this time, Caroline Kernut is the one that is sent off. So another man up opportunity for the, for the Maroons. Kernot has issued a yellow card. There's a shot save made by, by Yakes. Off the shot by, by, by Fitzgerald. 4.48 to go here in the first quarter. Hope trying to clear the zone. Skibbins with it. Now up ahead. Kirkpatrick with it. Kirkpatrick to bottom. Now to Salazar left side. Kerrigan Brown has it in behind the Chicago goal. Kerrigan Brown lost it along the sideline and or, or out the back, and it's going to go to the Maroons. Callie Constantinakis comes up field number two. Up ahead to Harrell. Now with it is Kiwana. Here's a shot and a score. Peyton McGuire. With her 16th goal of the season. For Chicago, with the assist, number 23, Camille Kawana. And scoring goal number seven, number 10, Peyton McGuire. Peyton McGuire, a freshman from Little Silver, New Jersey, with the goal off the assist from Kiwana. It's now 7-1 to one in favor of Chicago. 3.32 remaining in this first quarter. Hope controls the draw. Here's Randall. Up ahead to Salazar. And Salazar, Salazar took a shot to the face that time. They play on. Salazar tries to work her way out front. And Elena Salazar with a goal for the Flying Dutch. Nice move by Elena. Elena, her 22nd goal of the season. 
in for her career number 172 for the senior from out of Heartland High School. And we're going to get a timeout here. 3.08 remaining first quarter. It is 7-2 in favor of the University of Chicago. This is Hope College Women's Lacrosse. Are you thinking about buying, selling, or refinancing? Your title agency matters, and you have a choice. Lighthouse Title started in Holland, Michigan more than 20 years ago and has grown to over 45 locations. We are proud to be local in these communities. Visit Lighthouse Title for more information and use our online widget, Louis the Lightkeeper, to chat with someone today about how we can help you close on your new home. Now the Flying Dutch getting a much needed goal from Elena Salazar, stemming a five goal run by, by the University of Chicago, which the Maroons have a seven to two lead. We still have three oh eight remaining here in the first quarter. This is the last non-conference game for Hope before the Flying Dutch begin MIAA play coming up on Wednesday. as they take on the Alma Scots. And that'll be right here at Van Andel Soccer Stadium. Four o'clock will be the start time. And next Saturday, the Knights of Kelvin University will be here for a one o'clock contest against Hope. Here's the draw control. And the Maroons control it. Veldhaus has it. She's back in the contest after being shaken up earlier. Now Jill Huey with it. Huey already with a couple of goals so far in the early going. Bellhouse lost it, and Sydney LaPrairie comes up with it for the Flying Dutch. Maddie Yates, long outlet pass, and the ball loose right in front of the Hope bench, and coming up with the ground ball is Huey. Back comes Wynn Bogan with it. Maroons work it out front. Shot goes over the top of the goal and out the back. And the Maroons will keep possession. This is Jane Chen, number 32. Chen feeds out front to win Bogan, and Bogan with a goal. Bogan becomes the seventh different Chicago player to score here in this first quarter. It's now 8-2 to two in favor of the Maroons with 2.07 left here in the first quarter. We told you this is a team that can score a lot of goals. They had 26 against Lake Forest earlier this season in a 26-3 win. They beat Wisconsin River Falls 26-1 in another game. <laughs> Here's 
Hope's going to get the ball. La Prairie over to Salazar. Salazar lost possession, gets it back though. Salazar to Julia Brown. Hope just has not had a lot of opportunities at the net so far in this one. Julia Brown tries to work her way out front. Pass is deflected. Stella Bottom comes up with it for the Flying Dutch. Over to Molly Fredrickson. Now to La Prairie. Sydney works her way out front. La Prairie with a shot saved made by Rachel Keefe. And the Maroons come up with it. On the move is Jill Huey. Just over a minute to go here in the first quarter. Huey to Bogan. Now outside is McGuire. McGuire with a shot. That shot goes out the back, back, back side, and the Maroons are going to keep the possession. Shot by Lulu Hardy goes over the top of the net and stays in the field of play. Down to 30 seconds in the quarter. And Win Bogan off the assist from Skylar Leinhart with another goal. For Chicago with the assist, number 30, Skylar Leinhart. And scoring goal number nine, number 21, Win Bogan. Nine to two. University of Chicago with 28 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Come the Maroons again. This is Huey. Shot save made by Yakes. And time was going to run out here in the first quarter. But a big first quarter for the University of Chicago. They they have a nine to two lead over the Flying Dutch. Let's. Go to the break. This is Hope College Women's Lacrosse. Gentax is a tech company supplying electro-optical products to the global automotive, aerospace, and fire protection industries. With focused competencies in design, vision, displays, software, and more, we're always looking for engineering talent. For our direct hire hourly production positions, we run open interviews Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 at our 58 East Riley facility in Zeeland. And our facilities, benefits, and culture are everything you'd expect from a world-class employer. Now's the time to join Team Gentex. Yeah, my name is Travis Williams. I'm the CEO of the ODC Network. I graduated from Hope in 1998. I studied biology, and then I also played football. In order to be successful, people really need more than just the academic experience, but they need people to come alongside them and help them coach them, mentor them. I find that Hope College has just been one of the best examples of being able to do that anywhere. As an invested community partner, LVZ is proud to help share Hope's stories of transformational impact.
Foster Insurance Agency is a proud sponsor of Hope Athletics. Well, a dominant for first quarter by the University of Chicago. They outshot Hope 17 to 6 in the first quarter. They also picked up eight ground balls to two for the Flying Dutch. And uh, turnovers, uh, the Maroons have forced nine Hope College turnovers, while the Maroons have committed just two. So that that has just contributed to a big edge for Chicago as they begin the second quarter with a 9 to 2 lead. Hope will work left to right here in the second quarter. Caroline Kernot taking the draw control against Jill Huey. And the Mar Maroons pick up the ground ball. Seems like they have picked up nearly every ground ball here in this in this early stages of this contest. Maroons working right to left. Here's a shot. And we get a whistle. We're, I think we're going to get a hope foul. As Olivia Scoffrey was trying to attack the goal. And we're going to get a free position opportunity for Chicago. And Olivia Scoffrey with the goal. Second goal for the Maroons off of off a of free position opportunity. It's now a 10 to 2 Chicago lead. Battle right at midfield. Hope scoops it up. Here's Callie Randall with it, number 23. Over to Julia Brown. Again, Hope not, didn't get a lot of opportunities at goal in the first quarter. Hey, just six shots on goal. Here's a shot out front and a score! Julie Kirkpatrick, the junior from Mishawaka Penn High School with the goal. For Julia, her, for Julia, her 11th goal of the season. And her 24th point. That makes it 10 to 3. Chicago controls the draw. Here's Huey again. She's got two goals already this afternoon. Huey leaves it outside for Swigert. Now the Maroons work it, work it behind the flying Dutch goal. Nice spin move. <laughs> and a score by Skylar Leinhardt. Beautiful spin move by Leinhardt, the junior from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. And Skyler with her second goal. And will make it 11 to three. For Chicago, scoring goal number 11. 
Number 30, Skyler Linehart. Huey gets knocked to the turf, and we're going to get a foul on Hope. And Callie Randall's going to be sent off for the Flying Dutch. She gets, gets a yellow card. So the, the Maroons with a man up situation. And we get another foul right in front of the Hope goal. I think we're gonna get a, get a fixed position, a free position opportunity for the Maroons. And off that free position for the second time, Elizabeth Fitzgerald scores. left first half. Kristen Zost will take this draw control for Hope against Alexis Veldhaus. Hope controls the draw. Molly Fredrickson on the move. Fredrickson's pass gets away from Kirkpatrick, out of bounds, and that's a Hope turnover. Bogan comes up field number 21. Bogan will give it up to Kawana, Camille Kawana. Bogan with it now. To Kawana. Kawana tries to work her way toward the goal and the pass gets away from a teammate. Flying Dutch trying to scoop up the ground ball. It's a battle, and finally Stella Bottom does come out of there with it for Hope. Stella Bottom on the move. Gives it up to Sydney LaPrairie. Kerrigan Brown has it in back of the uh, back of the Chicago goal. Brown will leave it outside for Fredrickson. Molly works her way inside. Julia Brown had her shot knocked down, but Hope keeps possession. Julie Kirkpatrick with it now. Feeds Salazar, and uh, we're going to get a Chicago foul. And Hope's going to get a free position opportunity. Elena Salazar will take it. Salazar with a shot and a score. 
And Elena Salazar with her second goal of this contest. Salazar, her second goal of this contest, her 23rd of the season. And that makes it 12 to four Chicago. 11.28 to go here in the first half. Controls the draw momentarily. Fredrickson trying to keep possession. Does so. Fredrickson works in behind the Chicago goal. Now Salazar, who just scored a moment ago, over to bottom. Now Kerrigan Brown. Brown has it knocked away. Has to scoop it back up. Now she loses it. And the Maroons cause another Hope turnover. And here comes Chicago. Sophia Pasano with it. Maroons try to work it out front. There's a shot and a score. Alexis Veldhaus goes up top. And that'll make it 13 to four Chicago. For Chicago, scoring goal number 13, number 14, Alexis Veldhaus. Alexis Veldhaus, her second goal of this contest. Ten twenty four remaining first half. Thirteen to four Maroons. Maroons control the draw. Here's Peyton McGuire with it, number 10. Shot over the top of the goal by Grace Hopkins. It goes out the back. And it's gonna belong to the Flying Dutch. Maddie Yakes looking for a, an outlet. Carly Llewellyn with it. And Llewellyn is fouled right in front of the Chicago bench. And Llewellyn being sandwiched by two Chicago players, and now three. But Carly able to get away, but now we get another whistle. And now Hope's gonna get gonna go a man up. As Alexis Feldhoff has whistled off. This I believe will be the first man up opportunity for the Flying Dutch. Chicago's had four man up opportunities in this one. Julie Kirkpatrick with it for the Flying Dutch. Just over nine minutes to go here in the first half. The drizzle has stopped here in Holland momentarily. Just cloudy skies right now. Molly Fredrickson with it. Fredrickson tries to feed a teammate out front and... Hope's gonna get a free position opportunity here. Julia Brown. 
Julia Brown charges out front. Leaves it outside for Salazar, now La Prairie, and Cindy lost it. And here come the Maroons. Kawana with it. With there is a school whose name... And now we're going to get a foul on Hope. The Maroons will have the possession. Maroons working around. Back on the outside is Kiwana. Now McGuire. Over to Kiwana. Here's a shot and a score. Peyton McGuire finding the goal. That's her second of the game. McGuire, her second goal of this game, and for Olivia Scoffrey, her third assist. It's now 14 to 4, Chicago. I think we're going to get a hope foul here. Here come the Maroons with it. Jill Huey. Over to Grace Hopkins, number 13. Now in behind the net is Jane Chen. Maroons have been able to do pretty much whatever they want to do offensively here in this contest. Shot out front and camera Charlotte Seamleys Simleys with the goal. For Chicago with the assist, number 10, Peyton McGuire. And scoring goal number 15, number three, Charlotte Simleys. Charlotte Semley's with the goal assisted by Peyton McGuire. It's now 15 to four Chicago and we've got a running clock in effect right now in, La in lacrosse. If you've got a 10 goal difference, the, act, the running clock is activated and we get a foul off the draw control and Hope's gonna have possession. Salazar with it for the Flying Dutch. Salazar to Kirkpatrick in behind the Chicago goal. Over to Stella Bottom. Now Alyssa Segura to La Prairie. Bottom with it right side. Now Chicago really packing in its defense. Making it a challenge for the flying edge to get, get any sort of opportunity out front. Here's Brown. Kerrigan Brown with it, looks for a teammate. Now to bottom. Stella works her way toward the goal and she's fouled. And I think we're gonna get a free position opportunity. Stella bottom will take it. 
Bottom with a shot, save made by Rachel Keefe. The Flying Dutch get it back though. Now Kirkpatrick with it. In behind the Chicago goal. Kirkpatrick can't get her shot away. Leaves it for Kerrigan Brown. And now we get a whistle. And... <laughs> Melissa Segura will take the free position opportunity. Segura with a shot is wide. It goes out the back. But Hope's going to keep possession. Under four minutes to go here in the first half. Julia Brown trying to charge out front. Now Kirkpatrick. Pass intended for Kerrigan. Brown gets away. It's loose and scooping up the ground ball is Chicago. On the move is Pisano. Now McGuire. And I think we're going to get a, a free position opportunity for Chicago. Now, Fitzgerald with it. She's scored twice off of these plays earlier. Jill Huey will take the free position shot. Okay, no goal on that. Here comes Hope, La Prairie. Up ahead to Skibbins, and Hope clears the zone. Just over two minutes to go here in the first half. 15 to four, Chicago. Salazar with it in behind the Chicago goal. Elena trying to make a move, has the ball knocked loose. And the Maroons pick it up, pick up the ground ball. Keith looks for someone to pass off to. On the move is Swiger, number seven. Shot save made by Maddie Yakes. But the Maroons keep possession in behind the Hope goal. That's Hopkins. Maroons work it out front and we're gonna get a Hope foul as uh, McGuire got knocked down. Peyton McGuire to take the free position opportunity. And she scores off of that. And that makes it 16 to four Chicago. For Chicago, the score goal number 16, number 10, Peyton McGuire. Peyton McGuire, her third goal of this contest, her 18th of the season. Time runs out in the first half. 
30 minutes in the books, and it's the University of Chicago 16 and Hope College 4. The Flying Dutch outshot 27 to 12 in the first half. The Maroons pick up 12 ground balls to three for the Flying Dutch. Hope with 14 turnovers compared to four for the Maroons. That's the end of the first half. We'll be back with the second half momentarily. This is Hope College Women's Lacrosse. There is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is Hope. Every day, the people of Hope College are leading, discovering, believing, dreaming, pursuing, serving, innovating, exploring, creating, collaborating, questioning, curing. We are finding new ways to do old things. We are challenging the status quo and building a legacy. We are pursuing truth. We are solving tomorrow's problems today. We are thinking globally. We are faithfully hoping. We are celebrating victories. This day and every day, we are strengthened by our faith, bound by a shared commitment to building community, and dedicated to providing our students with a world-class liberal arts education. Faithful. Welcoming. Transformational. This is Hope College. I'm so good, it feel like I'm cheating. The well of the storm, I feel like a season. This type of drive could push Lamborghinis to get you some sign to have your own sneaker. I'm in the van, I'm pushing the meter. A legend like John for everyday people. I got the heart of a champion. I got the blood of a winner. I don't know how to be stagnant. I got way too much ambition. I keep on being statistics. How would I be denied? My only option is winning.
Welcome to the 2023 Catalyst Summit. This is Malcolm Gladwell. Thank you. And when I look at what is happening here at this school, in this community, it's actually far more of a revolution than you may give yourself credit for. What's going to differentiate you in the fullness of time is the content of your character and the courage you have to bring to the situation. The obstacle was getting people to believe that change was possible. If one person invests time, energy, and resources in the trajectory of another person, change their life forever. And in getting to know them individually in a group, they have brightened my heart and spirit as to the future of young people at Hope College. It's like the biggest investment and trust a college can give to a student. And when a 17 or 18 year old is invested by that much, I feel like it changes your daily life. The work in this exhibit represents the lived experiences and future impact of 58 incredible people. Late night. Yeah, very late night. Yeah, very late night at seven o'clock. Yes, that's right. Something about being on the receiving end of being told you are worthy. This is a gr pure gratuity, and and all we are asking is that you consider what it is to respond to this kind of grace later in life to future generations. And I was like, what this really is is like it's immediately creating a multi generational community. College is priceless, but it's way too expensive. I think the crazy thing is that no one is really doing anything to really solve that puzzle. It is one of those wonderful ideas that people are going to try and politicize it, but it's non-politicizable. Why not 30 years from now, this is the norm? Welcome back to Van Andel Soccer Stadium here on the Hope College campus as we get ready for the second half of this afternoon's game. And uh, it, we, it was drizzly at the start of the game. Right now it's just dark and dank. <laughs> now, no drizzle right now. Temperature right around 40 degrees. No wind to speak of. The flag is hanging limp right at, uh, right at midfield. And the Maroons have controlled this one from the get-go. They lead it 16 to four. They have outshot the Flying Dutch 27 to 12 in this contest. Hope will work right to left here in the third quarter. Running clock is in effect because it's at least a 10 goal difference. And the Maroons will have it. Peyton McGuire with three goals, Jill Huey, Win Bogan, Skylar Leinert, Elizabeth Fitzgerald, and Alexis Veldhaus, each with two goals for Chicago. Well, for the Flying Dutch, Elena Salazar has a pair of goals. Runes have it in behind the Chicago, uh, the Hope goal. Shot on the short side, and we're going to get a Hope foul as uh, I believe that was Leinert that got knocked down. The Maroons will get a fixed, a free position opportunity here. And it will be Skylar Leinhardt to take the, uh, take the uh, free position. Shot goes wide. Maroons keep possession though. 
Win Bogan. Now charging out in front is Grace Hopkins, and we get another goal for Chicago. For Chicago, scoring goal number 17, number 13, Grace Hopkins. Grace Hopkins with the goal for the Maroons, and it's now 17 to four Chicago. come the Maroons one more time. This is Veldhaus. Over to Kawana. The Maroons work it out in front and Lulu Hardy with a goal. That's her second. Hardy came into the contest as the leading scorer on this team with 20 goals, and she's added two more today. Number 30, Skylar Lineheart. And scoring goal number 18, number 15, Lulu Hardy. Hardy from Skylar Lineheart with the goal. 18 to four, Chicago. Hope will have possession. Here comes Molly Fredrickson with it. Molly the senior from out of Lowell High School. Fredrickson on the move. Fredrickson with a shot. Knocked down out in front. Hope keeps possession. Sydney LaPrairie with it for the Flying Dutch. To Stella Bottom. Julie Kirkpatrick now has it in behind the Chicago goal. Fredrickson now. Fredrickson trying to make her way into the, trying to get in for a closer shot. Now Julia Brown. To Salazar, Salazar with a shot and she scores. Elena Salazar, her third goal of this contest and that cuts the lead to 18 to five. I know we just signed the deal, but I need my advance on the next one, too. They know I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Come on, Dutch. I need it. I need it. I want some more. And they used to win big rings. 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 Salazar from Julia Brown with the goal for Hope. And that cuts the lead to 18 to five. Chicago wins the draw control. Swigert has it, number seven. Swigert. Maroons try to work it out front. We're going to get a hope foul. I think Emma Dodic committed the foul for hope. And Lulu Hardy will take the free position opportunity. Oh, 
The pass intercepted by, by Skibbins of Hope. But the Maroons get it back. Hopkins has it. Leaves it outside for Fitzgerald. And Evelina Swiger took a shot. But the Maroons have a, another goal, I think. Elizabeth Fitzgerald with the goal. And that makes it 19 to five, Chicago. Chicago. And scoring goal number 19, number 27, Elizabeth Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald with her third goal of the contest. 8.30 remaining third quarter. The Maroons have led this one from the get-go. Sydney LaPrairie with it for the Flying Dutch. La Prairie up ahead to Alyssa Segura. Now Julia Brown with it. Julia will work in behind the Chicago goal. Brown has it knocked away by Tegan Casey and Chicago's gonna have it. Swigert on the move as they clear the zone. Jill Huey with it. Huey's had a big day today for the Maroons. Stella Bottom has apparently been sent off for the Flying Dutch. So Chicago with a man up opportunity here. They've had quite a few of them today. Here's Huey. Shot knocked down out in front. The, the Maroons get the rebound though. Huey over to Kiwana. And Kiwana with a goal. That makes it 20 to five, Chicago. Chicago with the assist, number 32, Jane Chen. And scoring goal number 20, number 23, Camille Kawana. Camille Kawana with her first goal of today. In her fifth of the season, extending the Maroons' lead to 20 to five. Hope will have possession. Here's Fredrickson and Molly got fouled. Yeah. 
And Hope's going to have a, a man up. As Fitzgerald gets sent off. Sydney LaPrairie with it now for the Flying Dutch. Now Kirk Patrick feeds Salazar out front and Elena goes top shelf. Salazar gets her fourth goal and makes it 20 to six. Elena now with 25 goals this season. Scoring over six, number five, Elena Salazar. Kirkpatrick assisting on the on the Elena Salazar goal. Kristen Zos will take the draw control for the Flying Dutch now. 428 to go here in the third quarter. 20 to 6. In favor of Chicago. Work it back behind the Hope goal. They try to get it out front, but it's picked up by Caroline Kernot. Kernot comes up field. Over to Salazar. Salazar on the move. Salazar to Julia Brown. Left of the goal. Now to Kirkpatrick in behind the Maroons goal. Kirkpatrick tries to make her move. Being sh sh shrouded by Carly Simmel, the defender. Hope tries to work it out front. Ball gets away. But Segura is able to pick up the ground ball. Now La Prairie with it. Stella Bottom now right side over to Kirkpatrick in behind the Chicago goal. Kirkpatrick feeds Salazar out front. Salazar shot saved made by Rachel Keith. Good save by Keith that time on the with Salazar on the doorstep. And now we're going to get a foul on Salazar. 2.30 remaining in the third quarter. Win Bogan with it for Chicago. Over to Semblies. Runes have it now in behind the Hope goal. And we get a whistle. And Stella Bottom just got sent off. Her way out front. There's a shot and a score. Veldhaus gets her third goal off the assist from Jane Chen. That's Chen's fourth assist of the game. It's now Chicago 21, the Flying Dutch 6.
Chicago able to control the draw. Here's Veldhaus again. Veldhaus feeds out front and Olivia Escoffrey gets her first goal. She's had several assists today, but she finds the goal. Chicago. And time will run out here in the third quarter. It is Chicago 22, Hope College 6. This is Hope Women's Lacrosse. imagining now as we look out to the future is not just a tweak to the old system we're imagining an entirely new system in a hope forward model every student who comes through the doors of hope college would have their tuition a hundred percent covered three quarters being outshot by Chicago 35 to 16 the Maroons have picked up 14 ground balls to five for the Flying Dutch turnovers hope with 16 turnovers Chicago with six the hope will open MIAA play on Wednesday here at Van Andel Soccer Stadium against the Alma College Scots. Four o'clock will be the start time. Then next Saturday, Calvin University will be here for the women's lacrosse version of the rivalry. Hope is the defending MIAA champion. Hope will work left to right here in the fourth quarter. Elena Salazar with four goals for the Flying Dutch today. Julie Kirkpatrick and Julia Brown with the other goals. Hope controls the draw to start the fourth quarter. Sydney LaPrairie to Molly Fredrickson. Fredrickson to Julie Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick works in behind the Chicago goal. Kirkpatrick tries to work her way out front, can't do it. Gives it up to Fredrickson. Fredrickson charges out front, feeds bottom, and we're going to get a foul. Okay. 
And Hope's going to get a fix, a free position opportunity here. Shot save me by Rachel Keefe against Julia Brown. We do have a new goalie in, in the game for the University of Chicago. Kate Kim, number 11, a freshman from Glenview, Illinois. Kim taking the place of Rachel Keefe, who went the first three quarters. Maroons have it on the Hope side of the field. Win Bogan with it. Feeds a Scoffrey, and now we get a Hope foul. And the Maroons are going to get a free position opportunity. Shot saved me by Maddie Yakes. Here come the Flying Dutch. Elena Salazar with it, number five. Salazar gives it to Kirkpatrick in behind the Chicago goal. Julie tries to work her way out front. Now gives it up to Kristen Zost. Now Fredrickson. Fredrickson with a shot, knocked down out front. Here come the Maroons. On the move is Ellie Friedman, number 20 for the Maroons. Friedman with a shot, save made by Yakes. Hope with a turnover. Now with it is Skylar Leinhart, number 30. She's had a big day today. Maroons now have it in behind the Hope goal. This is Semley's. Semley's gives it up to Veldhaus. Shot save made by Yakes against Olivia Scoffrey. And the Flying Dutch will try to clear it. On the move is Ruby Huerman. Tries to find Salazar. Not a good pass, and the Maroons scoop up the ground ball. And getting knocked down is Callie Constantinakis. And the trainer for the for Chicago attending to to the injured player, Constantinakis, a sophomore from Massapequa Park, New York. Ten fifty five remaining in this one. Twenty two to six, Chicago. Maroon scored nine goals in the first period, seven in the second, six in the third. Constantinakis is now sitting up and uh, and 
and she's being assisted off the off the field right now. Chicago will have it. A near turnover caused by Kirkpatrick. Now with it is Leinhardt. Maroons have it in behind the Hope goal. This is Leinhardt. Leinhardt over to Scoffrey. And we get a whistle and we're gonna get a foul on the Flying Dutch. And here's a free position opportunity for Chicago. A scoff free. A scoff free charges toward the goal. Didn't get a good shot off. Save made by Maddie Yakes. Ten minutes to go in this one. Carly Llewellyn with it. Up ahead to, to Huerman. Ruby will work, will clear the zone. Hewerman over to Kerrigan Brown, number eight. Kerrigan will work in behind the Chicago goal. Fredrickson with it now. Over to Bella LaFranca, who just checked into the contest for the Flying Dutch. Kirkpatrick now to Kerrigan Brown. Outside to Fredrickson. Shot by Salazar is wide. Hope's gonna keep possession. Down under 30 seconds on the shot clock. Kirkpatrick will charge out front and Kirkpatrick with a goal. Julie Kirkpatrick charged out front there and goes top shelf. That's her second goal of the contest. That makes it a 22 to seven game with 8.40 to play. for Julie, her 12th goal of the season. Chicago controls the draw. Here comes Huey with it. My name's Emma Duck. Over left side to Hardy. Fitzgerald has the ball get away from her, but it's scooped up by Lulu Hardy. with it. Now to Kiwana. Back to Hardy again. Maroon showing a lot of patience. Now Hardy gets the feed and, and Hardy goes top shelf and she beats Yakes. For Hardy, that is her third goal. Number 32, Jay Chen. And scoring goal for 23, number 15, Lulu Hardy. And that'll make it 23 to 7, Chicago. Hill of Prairie. 
Murray gets knocked down. And we're gonna get, got a foul on the Maroons. Down to six minutes to go in this one. Elena Salazar with it now for up over to, over to Julie Kirkpatrick. Now Stella Bottom, back outside to Molly Fredrickson. LaPrairie surveys the scene. LaPrairie with a shot and she scores. Sydney LaPrairie, the sophomore from Rochester Stony Creek with the goal. That's her ninth of the season. And a three to eight. We're now down under five minutes to play in this one. Controls the draw. Salazar has it. Salazar with four goals today for the Flying Dutch. To Julie Kirkpatrick in behind the Chicago goal. Kirkpatrick will leave it outside for Molly Fredrickson. Now across to La Prairie. Intercept the pass. On the move with his Carly Simmel, the defender. As the Maroons clear. Simmel with a long run. Up ahead to Hopkins. And now we get a whistle and uh, and Molly Fredrickson's gonna get sent off for a green card infraction. A shot save made by Yakes. Yakes long outlet to Stella Bottom, and Bottom will take it into the Chicago end of the field. Julia Brown with it over to LaFranca. Bella LaFranca works right of the Chicago goal that will take it in behind the Maroons net. Being defended by Friedman. And the Maroons pick up another ground ball after the Hope turnover. Here's a shot over the top of the goal that was, that was Pisano with a long run that time. Shot and a score. Charlotte Semleys with the goal, her second of the day. And that'll make it 24 to eight, Chicago. Assemblies from Bogan to make it 24-8 Chicago. We're down to a minute 40 to go. As the Maroons will 
even their record at four and four on the season with this win this afternoon. Here's Bogan with it. Now with it on the outside is Kawana. Kawana to Friedman. Friedman being defended by Skibbins. And now we get a whistle. Under a minute to go now. This will be a free position opportunity for Ellie Friedman. Shot and a score by Friedman. And that will make it 25 to eight. And time runs out, this game is over. And the Maroons of the University of Chicago defeat the Flying Dutch this afternoon at Van Andel Soccer Stadium. The final score, Chicago 25, the Flying Dutch eight. The Maroons improved to four and four on the season and snap a two game losing streak. The Flying Dutch fall to four and four with the loss. Now, balanced scoring for Chicago today. Peyton McGuire, Alexis Veldhaus, and Elizabeth Fitzgerald each with three goals for the Maroons. Elena Salazar had four goals for the Flying Dutch in a losing cost. Now, hopefully back in action on Wednesday here at Van Andel Soccer Stadium, it'll be the MIAA opener for Hope as they take on the Alma College Scots. Uh, four o'clock will be the start time. If you can't make it here to Van Andel Soccer Stadium, we will have the webcast right here on the Hope Athletics page. Just click on the link and it'll take you to where you need to be. For our crew here at, at Hope College, we thank you for joining us this afternoon and have a good afternoon, everyone.